Call center director speaking. Wait, DJ Academic's girlfriend is back at it again? Wait, I thought he left her, he didn't leave her, and she's back exposing him again? Oh, wait, if I make this video, I might not end up being a chat nigga for long? Wait, huh, I'm sorry, DJ Academics, we gotta make this video. I'm sorry, let's get to it. So basically, DJ Academics uh, girl has been exposing him and or slandering his name. I don't know what to call it, but uh, she says, uh, I should have been done with your ass when a transgender uh, guap mommy exposed you. So she shows the screenshots, and the screenshots show him, like, you know, sending her to heart, saying, what's up? And then saying, like, say, asking her where she from, this, that, and the third. And I think Act went to explain, like, what was going on and what happened and whatever. And I was willing to give him the benefit of the doubt. And I was until this picture right here dropped. Nah, bro. That's a, that's a whole, like, that's a whole trans, man. And if that's what you into, that's what you into. I just can't, I just don't want to hear a nigga say, I didn't know. How didn't you know? Pretty woman. How didn't you know? Pretty obvious, too, though. How didn't you know? I'm just trying to I'm just trying to understand how you didn't know because I could see it off vert. So and if this is a picture that's posted, I don't understand where the mix up was, you know, and then she says like or she went to go expose him again and says or when your house got raided because you caught a rape charge by a girl from Philly after you left Antonio Brown's pool party and me and your mom got put in handcuffs and she went to the hospital after you ain't have a front door for three months from them breaking it to get your nasty ass. Now, my whole thing when we start talking about rape and this, that, and the third and stuff is if you feel like he was a rapist and you feel like he did that, why didn't you leave him? That's my thing. If I feel like somebody's doing some shit, like, that's one of the sickest things you can do. Rape and pedophilia is the sickest things you can ever fucking be and ever fucking do. So that's a thing right there. So I don't, I'm not trying to hear none of the bullshit. If you felt like he was like some sick person like that, you're just a stick for sticking with him. I mean, I know you're there for the bread. It's obvious, but like, come on now. Don't, don't, I would have used the, I would have just kept it with the trans thing. Cause he, honestly, no, all this shit don't matter. Cause why, I don't even get why she's choosing to expose him now out of all times. But in the next slide, it's going to show, she says, uh, we're going to continue Sunday at five, right before uh, his show. And y'all can look at academics and his fat ass face and see through his evil ass eyes that he ain't shit. And it's like, she's doing all this to ruin his moment. Um, from what I've been hearing, uh, well, he has a show this Sunday, whatever. And he just, like, the show was canceled. He moved it to a different venue. I just heard that, well, I don't know how true this is. Because Axe said they didn't want him to have armed security. So they changed this shit around. But I've been seeing people come up with their own narrative saying, like, he couldn't sell out a certain venue. So he went to a smaller venue to sell that out. Which could be true, though, because I don't see why. My personal opinion, I feel like Axe smart, but I'm not giving him as much credit as people be calling him a genius and this, that, and the third. I feel like Axe, and Axe smart when it comes to certain things, but I feel like Axe got lucky on a lot of shit. Like, I feel like if Axe was going to do a live show, I feel like he should have pulled his algorithm together to see where his biggest followers were. If his biggest followers, but I get that because he was better off probably doing it in New York. He is better off probably doing it in, um, honestly, he's better off probably doing it in New York or L.A., probably Texas, too. But this is a bad look. This is a really bad look, honestly, because it's like, it, it, this is a bad look. Because now you did it in Jersey, and I know why you did it in Jersey, because you don't want to leave a crib. Like, it's like being back in your basement, and I get it, bro, but you have to, like, act like, like, the thing is, you talk so much shit about Rory and Mom, you gotta, like, if you don't show and prove, it's not going to be like that. And it's not looking so good for you because Rory and Ma are sh shutting shit down. And if they get on their shit where they talking their shit, it's not going to look too good on you. And and honestly, if, if, if act, you talk so much shit, and I fuck with you, but you talk so much shit, if anytime somebody can get a chance to get the one up on you, they can and they will use it, bro. So you got to be smarter with your decisions. Like, I don't know. Now you got, you see the way people hating on you now, bro. You got to, your bitch is your biggest hater. The fucking the, the people on Twitter, your biggest haters, fucking Reddit and all that shit, bro. You got to do better, bro. And hopefully you learn from the shit. Honestly, bro, you might need. I feel like you might be surrounded by yes, man, because a lot of shit you do don't make no sense, bro. But I don't know. That was a call center. My, my just call just got disconnected.